Where in the world is Paul Ryan? Well, he's hiding under his desk, hiding from constituents. Uh, at least apparently. A group of unemployed constituents staged a sit-in outside Congressman Paul Ryan's district office last week, upset with the fact that their congressman isn't holding any free town hall meetings during the August recess. Ryan is holding corporate sponsored town halls that charge people 15 bucks to ask a pre-screened question, however. Well, yesterday those constituents tried once again to meet with their congressman, but they were again denied entry into the building by the police. Take a look. We've got a complaint signed by the owner of the building, so you can't be on the parking lot, meaning the building premises, inside the building at all, or and you cannot obstruct traffic in any way. You can you can walk up and down the sidewalk as much as you want. So we're not allowed to be in the public just office. Let him, just You're let not allowed finish. in this building at all. And it is a public office paid for. Representative Ryan has signed an open signed a consent that you are not allowed inside their building. Okay, also. so pa so Paul Ryan consent. himself has no actually signed a statement. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. Does he have an appointment? That's fine. Anybody else? We're going to ask to leave one time. So now, so they hold on. Okay, okay, okay. If you so, don't leave, then you're subject to an arrest. So you must have a previous appointment. That's right. Paul Ryan is now using the police to make sure he doesn't have to face those same constituents that he's trying to take Medicare from. So what kind of message does this send to voters? Isn't that exactly the reason why Congress only has a 14% approval rating? Here to defend congressmen who ignore their constituents is our old friend Seton Motley, president of less government. Well, a hey, fabulous, oh, slanted introduction. Yes, First of all, indeed. the reason Congress has a 14% Four. number <laughs> is because they did a stupid no deal deal on the debt ceiling situation that did not lower the yes, deficit. Let's did change not the lower subject no, that's what as we can. No, you I, you I said you you ascribe like the 14. The record, however, that you don't believe in spontaneous generation. You were wrong on that. I sent an email to your producer. You were dead wrong, and I was exactly right on that. Okay. You were wrong, and for I was record, right. For the record, did you issue a correction not, like I requested? I'm doing it right this moment. Okay. For the record, you do not believe in spontaneous. No, you were wrong about what uh, where salmonella oh, well, comes we're from. We're not gonna we're not gonna relive. You were wrong, and I was right. <laughs> All right. Uh, why do you hate Paul Ryan's constituents? Well, if I if I ran an office and someone came in and sat in my lobby for ten hours. I'd issue a warrant to have them prohibited from going back in again, too. Yeah. They don't have an appointment. They have nothing to say. So they just want to sit there and stick up the office so like with Julie for 10 hours. You're defending the practice of Do they have an appointment? Do they have an appointment? Have an appointment? No, you're, you're absolutely right about that. You're absolutely they don't, right. They're if, just if, somebody is, if somebody is, you know, obstructing, you know, whatever, that, that's, you know, people get you that's know, people all they're doing. arrested right in front of the that's White That's all they're House doing. Right now as, as, a, as a statement of peaceful protest. I have no problem with that. The, the, my concern is that we have a congressman who, A, has a history of writing legislation for the people who give him the most money, and B, is refusing to meet with any of his constituents in a, pre, in a free public venue. Isn't, isn't there something corrupt How much that? is he charging for those town hall meetings? He, it should be free. What, what, says who? Says you? Yeah. It says, says, says the concept. I mean, you don't believe in their concept of representative, you know, representative yes. democracy in a republic? But if you want to make an appointment with the congressman, can you still? Can you sit in his office for 10 hours with no appointment and nothing to say and just stink up the joint like patchouli for 10 hours? So we've got No, this, you can't. We, we have these rules where John Boehner, when he came in, he said, okay, we're going to work you know, two weeks on, one week off for the whole year, plus we're going to take vacations. They're in the middle of a vacation right now. And then the Texas legislature meets two months every two years. Yeah. And, That's and, fantastic. And, and is paid very little for it. But here we have our representatives and we are not allowed, in the case of Paul Ryan and a number of others, and by the way, there's Democrats among yes, us as well. Yes, doing this. In fact, there's more Democrats doing it than Republicans. Because they had, uh, a, uh, actually had bad memories of the... Numerically, there are more Republicans, but percentage-wise, percentage there's, 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 there's more there's Democrats. Yeah. But, you know, it's the point is, so few Democrats now. Yeah, so, so you know, just on a, on a bi... I don't know if we're partisan basis or whatever, um, you know, uh, bi-liberal conservative basis, Shouldn't we figure out a way to, and, and I'm not in favor of a law that says that congressmen must have to do anything, right? right? I, you know, it's do you remember Andrew Jackson with his big wheel of cheese? No, I don't. He kept a big wheel of cheese in the front lobby of the White House, and anybody could come in any time, grab a hunk of cheese, and try to talk to the president. So is that, you don't want to go back to that, do you? Uh, nor, nor do I want to go back to the booze during the Andrew Jackson presidency. <laughs> That's you know, that, that either. Drunken party. Are you sure you're going to talk about but, Grant? I'm just kidding. Yeah, um, Grant, that too. Grant was drinking it himself. Right? <laughs> That's why his own party wouldn't nominate him for a third term. But uh, in part, mostly, I guess it was the railroads that brought Right, him. the railroad thing was a but, bad deal. But 
the, a serious question, Seaton. We've got, you know, n not just to pick on Paul Ryan. We've got congressmen who, although I'd love to pick on Paul Ryan, we've got congressmen who are writing legislation explicitly for the people who are giving them money. To the point, I mean, Paul Ryan actually went on the floor of Congress and mentioned by name his largest campaign donor when he entered That's this fine. legislation. It, it, look, is, and, if the legislation is better so, for the so free market, meeting, I don't have a problem with it. He's meeting with the guys that give him 71000 bucks. But if you want to show it's up at a town in hall politics, meeting, Tom. if you want to show, well, it's enough to it's buy not, legislation from Paul Ryan. He, he agrees with the legislation we now know anyway. what his price is. Remember we've discussed it before. Money doesn't change, ideas don't that's, chase money. That's not the point. Money chases ideas. That's not the point. The point is he's refusing to meet with his constituents on a No, he's basis. not. He's not refusing to meet with Part them. Part of that he's paying refusing, He's refusing to, to let him sit down your wait, questions. Wait, 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 wait. He's not refusing to meet with constituents on an appointment basis. He's uh, refusing to basis. let these morons sit in his office all day for, and do nothing. I he's, have no problem with that. These morons are saying, we just, want a, we just want a town hall, public town hall. They can't afford it. This is the same stupid argument. It's so, 10 bucks to get in the town hall. So, Pay 10 bucks. Okay, so, so we establish a precedent that now it's $10, and then next year it becomes $100. Kind of like and the income tax, that, yes. Becomes kind of like the income tax, yes. Then, it was 1%, so, then it was 2%, so then it was 3%, no problem, and now it's 40%. You have no problem with our elected representatives saying the only way that you can talk to me is with cash. No, no. the $10 doesn't go into Congressman Paul's re-election coffers. It goes to pay for the security of the event at the, at the, at the venue they're having the event. Whatever, no, well, actually this was a public public event. It was paid for, this, this is paid for by taxpayer dollars. So in general, you're no, saying that you don't have, but in the principle of it, I, I just want to get this clear. You don't have a problem with members of Congress saying, no, I'm not going to do a public event. No, I, I, no, no, that's a different thing. You asked me on to discuss whether these morons can sit in his office for 10 hours. Okay. I, don't have a pro I, I, don't, I don't have a problem with them blocking that. I would, like, I would like more transparency. I would like more interaction between the people. and the, That's what the Tea Party movement's all about. Uh, I'll let more Tea Party officials. Okay, well, that, here's where I think actually we may be agreeing. Because I don't have a problem with individual members of Congress saying they're not going to hold public events. As long as we all know about it, so we can vote them out of office. Well, no, no, that's that's because fine. that's the ultimate term limit: is vote the bums out. Well, I, yes. And 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 ending you know, and, and ending uh, gerrymandering, but that's a separate issue. Yes, and and of course spontaneous generation. <laughs> Good to see you, Seton. Thanks Talking a lot. about my spontaneous generation. <laughs> Indeed. Um, okay.